I'm meteorologist Carly Gomez with the latest on the incoming storms just one week before Christmas. But could these incoming storms open up the floodgates to future storm systems? Well, we'll be breaking it down. Rain this water year so far really hasn't been impactful. It hasn't really looked great at all. Sacramento Executive Airport in downtown Sacramento looking at just over one and a half inches of rainfall. Stockton Modesto barely even reaching an inch there for Modesto. And the normal this time of year is anywhere from two and a half to almost four and a quarter inches of rain. We definitely saw this last water year as we got quite the storm systems already. So far, the departure departure, I should say, from normal is one and a half to about two and a half inches. This is how much more water we need to stay on track of normal for this time of year. And we are really behind, but we may be seeing some storm systems that may be helping us out. I want to talk about the jet stream over the next 10 days. This kind of supplies us with all of the storm systems and kind of a look at what we may be seeing if things don't really change significantly over the next 10 days. Now, first, let's point this out to you. To you, this is just a bunch of colors, but what you can take a look at here is the bright colors here in red and pink, a lot of moisture. Now, the path that the jet stream takes is going to help indicate for us where the storm systems go. When we start looking at these big U shapes here. That's a trough. If that trough begins approaching us and we start getting some of this blue and even deeper colors, that's a bit of an indication for us that we may be seeing an incoming storm system. Now, where you see a lot of clearing and a big ridge or a, a kind of a rainbow shape there is kind of more of that clearing effect, less rain. So we're looking for the U shapes or as we can expect over the next 10 days to help provide us with some rain. So let's fast forward here. Moving into the weekend, we're actually looking pretty good, but by Sunday, Take a look, you start to get this nice little pull here of that U shape and it's moving toward us. And that could be our first look at some of that rain headed our way by Sunday late night into Monday. The next one here, it still continues to bring bringing in a U shape for us that moves into Wednesday. Again, we're still seeing a little bit more of that potential for rain. And finally, as we move toward Thursday and Saturday toward the weekend here of Christmas, you're looking at December 23rd, you're seeing this big break, this big clearing here in that big ridge building. That is high pressure in place, and that's expected to be bringing us at least calmer conditions, less rain. But just look out here over the Pacific. As it passes Japan, you're looking at a huge plume of moisture that may be carried here along the jet stream as we move toward Christmas and past Christmas that may be opening the potential for floodgates in our future. And I use that loosely as we're talking more about bringing in heavy rain. Now we'll continue to take a look at that, and this is pretty much as far as it goes. You're looking at December 24th, nothing yet for California, but maybe on the 25th, we could start seeing at least wet weather hitting the Pacific Northwest there, but right behind it, this, this system here is looking huge. That looks like a lot of moisture in place, just ready to head its way into the West Coast, and we're going to have to wait at least another week to be certain of how much is headed our way and if we're even looking at maybe some potential for atmospheric rivers. Now the really climate prediction center, the 8 to 14 day outlook is showing above average conditions when it comes to rainfall, at least for California. Most of the country from the central to southern areas of our country also looking at above average precipitation. This is usually closer to normal, maybe a little bit more than they're used to, but the green here, that dark green, that is going to be above average. So that's some good news, especially for Southern California. Let's talk now about the major water supply and reservoir conditions. Now, we want to look at this this time of year to see exactly where we are historically from average, where we could be, where we should be, but we're actually looking really good. Historically of average, Shasta, Orville, Folsom, over 100%. Now, the capacity, though, is about halfway. This is good. The water managers doing their jobs at kind of trying to see, hey, we don't necessarily want to be at half, but Folsom's a little bit of a smaller reservoir, so we need to make room for more water to come in, especially as we're getting potential for some heavy rain and downpours. Now, as we take a look a little further south, New Malona's Don Pedro San Luis Reservoir, also 100 to 150 percent of average this time of year. Right now, they're seeing a lot of these capacities at 80 percent. So they may need to start releasing if we start seeing a lot of rain headed our way. San Luis, 56% right now of capacity. Now, as we take a look at what's happening currently, the low pressure systems up in the Pacific Northwest, we do have high pressure in place now. That is keeping us dry. We're getting a few clouds into the weekend, at least as we start moving from the weekend of the 15th through the 17th of December. We're going to get a bit of clouds, a little bit of sunshine on Saturday, and then more clouds move in. 
as we're tracking low pressure offshore. That will carry with it more cloud coverage moving in for most of your Sunday. Then expect to start seeing some rain arriving as we get into Sunday night and then may not even stop till we start getting toward Wednesday. We'll get on and off showers and then rain throughout the beginning and the first half of your work week. Now looking into your Thursday night, we're getting high elevation clouds, but otherwise we'll actually get pretty cold temperatures overnight. Let's track the atmospheric rivers. This is very important for us. It's nice to get storms, but if they don't have a lot of moisture, we're just not going to get that much rain. We rely on these atmospheric rivers to really get us where we need to be because we really don't get that many storm systems in California. We may get maybe let's say a handful to 10 storm systems in an entire winter season. If they don't produce enough moisture or they're not tapping into one of these, maybe a Pineapple Express or one of these atmospheric rivers, if we're not getting significant moisture, that storm system's almost a dud. Maybe just bringing in a little bit of sprinkles here and there, some maybe light, high elevation snow, but we really need this to be the rainmaker rain for us. Now, if we can get a good solid four to seven of these, we may actually be really good for our rain year. So that could be good. Whether they're weak, whether they're strong, can really uh, make the difference. Strong ones, you may only need two of really strong ones to help us out. All right, let's push now into December 19th, Tuesday. We're now looking at the next wave here, that portion pulling up into the atmospheric river. This one looks a little bit lighter, but if you can make out what you see out here, the swirl effect happening. We are tracking what's called the Fujiwara effect, where two low pressure systems may be dancing around each other. What we see with this is one starts moving under. As this one passes through and moves up, this one here will move underneath it, dragging in from Wednesday, you see it right there, into Thursday. So that happens, it's gonna be able to pull up a little bit more moisture for us. And Wednesday looks to be a little bit of a wet day for us, especially the high elevations could start seeing heavier rain, especially the high foothills and the lower Sierra spots. Now, unfortunately, because the system is coming in from the south here, rather than coming directly from the northwest, we're gonna be looking at a much warmer system. That means temperatures are gonna be higher. Unfortunately, the high elevation snow is gonna be around 7,000 to 8,000 feet. We'd love to see a 4,000 foot snow effect happening for us, but it's just not cold enough yet. We may have to wait if we still have a little moisture left over for Thursday into Friday. That could drop us a bit more snow and colder temperatures. Now moving into the weekend, we'll see some sunshine and clearing and that'll be nice. Overnight lows will be a little chilly in the upper 30s and then daytime highs in the low 60s. But moving to Sunday night, 10 p.m., you're finally starting to see the first look of some sprinkles coming in, at least on the west side here of the valley. The heavy rain still offshore. Then finally, as we get into the overnight hours and Monday throughout the day, we could expect to see rain on and off throughout the day, even heavier to the north there, Yuba City and Chico. And then finally, the snow is falling, but it's in the Yosemite area. Unfortunately, it looks like South Lake Tahoe and Truckee may be just getting that higher elevation snowfall where everyone else is just getting rain. Finally, moving in Tuesday to Wednesday, we do get a little bit of snow here and there, and hopefully we get enough to add up to at least something significant that the ski resorts can use. Finally, into Thursday, 5.30 p.m., we're actually still looking at a little more rain just there toward the coastline. What we're seeing with this system is that it has been delayed. It originally was supposed to come in on Sunday, kind of mid-morning lunchtime hour, but now it's being pushed another day almost toward Sunday night, Monday morning, which prolongs the next storm system into arriving for your Thursday as well. So keep an eye on Thursday. You may actually see some rain there as well. Finally, moving on into your Christmas weekend, we start seeing more clearing, but if you had plans to head up toward the Pacific Northwest, say you're driving, you may see some delays as we're looking at maybe some more rain offshore there that may be heading up for Christmas Day. Of course, we're still about 10 days away from that, so we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens. Our potential for rain totals has been moving all over the place. The models continue to shift back and forth from high numbers, about two inches around Tracy, to now what down to one inch. So. We've been really ranging from anywhere from one inch to even up to five inches of rain from the valley up to the foothill. So we're just kind of waiting and seeing what the models are going to predict as we get closer to the actual event. And this is cumulative. I'm talking Sunday all the way into Thursday. Now, high elevation snow is really going to be way up there. And I'm talking again, seven, 8,000 feet. If we're lucky, we may drop down to 6,500 feet. But 
Take a look at the GFS models right now. They're showing seven to maybe seven inches to maybe a foot of snow. Now, before we were actually showing up to 12 inches just hours previous to this recording. So we're again going back and forth with these computer models. Everything seems to be getting a little bit warmer. So we're looking like the highest elevations may not even get a foot of snow. Everything further south looks to be a little higher as well as the system looks to be centered into more central California and then moving its way south. All right, let's take a look at what we can also expect temperature wise over the next 10 days. Mid to low 60s for the weekend. Then we get into the upper 50s and low 60s for most of next week. Then we're looking at sunshine into Christmas weekend with temperatures and highs here in these mid to upper 50s.